What's up you guys? So a lot of you know that we used to live in Austin, Texas and we love barbecue. Now we've searched for many places here in Las Vegas for that central Texas feel and we have yet to find it but we think we may have found the perfect spot. Yeah, we are excited. Now this new spot recently opened up and many have said it's fast becoming the most underrated barbecue spot here in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, so today we're eating at Soul Belly. Let's eat. Welcome to Soul Belly Barbecue, and I have to say, walking in here just felt right at home with barbecue. You know, it, it does. It kind of brings back some of that Austin, Central Texas Ooh. memories for sure, and yeah. we're hungry. We definitely are. Yeah. I love the options on the menu. We have already placed our orders, so there's a lot of good stuff coming, but it's hot out here today. Yeah, it's hot, so inside's perfect. Great space in here, too. They have shows, and of course, beer. Now you're talking. Cheers. Cheers. Now, you know what's really cool? I noticed while we're waiting for our food, I love the murals around the, the oh, building. The murals are Aren't great. they super cool? Oh, they really can really get down with some zingers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they have some very cool murals here. I love the stage. Yes. They have a show, I think they have karaoke Wednesday night, and yeah. the performances Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I believe, right? And I so. think we might be in the best seats in the house for that. Even though that's not going on today, we're kind of front and center to the stage, so this is where all the action is. Yeah. You, you could, you're going to get the tunes, you're going to get the sweat from the singer, the whole enchilada here. <laughs> yeah, it is very cool. Without further ado, I mean, it just, it's all here, ready to be devoured. Thank you, Chef Bruce. Too bad we didn't get to meet you today, but thank you for this deliciousness. Oh yeah, we had a sampling of almost everything they have here, and it, it looks and smells amazing. Unreal, I mean, yeah. you're talking, we have the Yeah, we, we got, pork we got ribs. the ribs, the pork ribs. The, oh my gosh. The fatty brisket. The fatty brisket. The, the pork belly. Pork belly. I love the like the jalapenos yeah. and like that. The white bread, of course you got. Yeah, pulled pork. Yes. We got a couple different links nice. as well. Gotta get the links. Then the sides look really nice. I know, heavenly. Right. So, all right, so what do we start with? We're gonna start out, I think, with the uh, pork what ribs. Talking what do you about? Think? All right, choose your weapon. Here we go. Choose yeah. your weapon. Okay, why don't you grab one of these middle ones, baby? Okay. Grab that one right there. Okay, thank you. Maybe I'll grab oh, this guy. Maybe. I like that one. Here we go. That's a good one. You ready? I'm ready. This looks amazing. First bite of heaven. First bite. Mm. Oh man. Oh wow. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. That is really good. So I gotta say that uh, pork rib. Yeah, you really taste the smokiness in it. Really nice. And of course, they smoke it with post oak. Yes. Right from Central Texas, shipped in from Central Texas. Exactly, now yeah. that's the coolest thing. I mean, yeah. you saw that lice wood outside, right? Yes, it was exactly. Like, and you got, I saw your eyes just kind of light up. It's like, like post oak, oak. Yes. that's so cool. You kind of smell it, yeah. you know, it's and just I really think nice. That, that is sort of, uh, that's, a, that's a staple flavor in some of that Central Texas barbecue is yeah. that smoky, It's good. flavors of the post oak that come out. And that was damn yeah, good. Yeah, this pork rib is juicy, it's tender. And on the bark, they really taste that smokiness. Oh yeah. And it, it's simple too. You know, not a lot of fancy sauces on it. It's just good. Mm. 
So, all right, let's let's go to the pork belly. Okay. Try that one right there. Yeah, absolutely. And these are incredible. Look at that. Yeah. So the pork wow. bellies from uh, we spoke with the manager. The, the pork bellies are brined for six hours. Wow. And then once they're brined for about six hours, they're put on the smokers for about seven to eight hours. Wow. So they only make about so much because they don't want it to necessarily. They don't sell out. Yeah. So they make about so much of these, but these go very quickly. So, so they usually sell out. They each sell time. out. These. Wow. All right. This is ready? actually new for us. This right? is very new. Right. We have not had very a new. barbecue uh, pork belly. But so. look at the bark on it. It's this just incredible. like that. Just looks nice and smoky. Ready? Give it a shot. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Mm. That's damn good. Just so tender. The fattiness of the pork belly just kind of melts away. Mm -hmm. That is good. It's really good. You hear that little sweet layer. Mm -hmm. Whatever sauce is on that. Mm. Just, a, just a tint. But you really do taste like that smokiness and the melting. It's so it good. It just melts right in your mouth. Now, that highly recommend so the pork belly here. That's good. Let me give you a big one. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, that pork belly is good. It's true. The sauces for me, it will add like a spice in it. If I want some heat, to it, get the spice, but you want it to kind of stand on its own. Mm -hmm. The actual, the brisket, or the pork belly. That's how we like it though. Exactly, I agree. They have to stand on their own. Mm -hmm. The sauces just kind of give that added bonus. Whatever you right. like you said, spice, yeah. sweetness, um, but the flavors really do come in from that meat. I think that's like the Central Texas way. A lot of them it say is. the meat should really stand up on the own. The sauces are just the icing on the cake. It's true, and they have a whole, you know, whole variety of sauces here it's too. It's not beer, you guys. It's not Yeah, Lone these Star. are actually sauces, so. <laughs> They were all kind of selection here, different kind of sauces. Oh, the Jiggly Meat Barbecue is Yeah, kind of made, uh, you look like house made right here. Yes, we may have so to give that a try. We will give them a try, for sure. Maybe on those last two pieces, we'll I, give those a try. I think so, yeah. Dynamite, dynamite. Far, we are off to a good start. Great start. And so you are definitely off. I'm, I'm off to a great off start. Off to the races. <laughs> you got some catching up to do. You're off to the yeah, races. Got, got some catching up to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got you covered. That's what I'm talking about. Well this, done. There's only Kick one it. problem. Oh, you better. What's that problem? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh -oh. So as I come back from. What just happened? Yes. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh, not at all. That's my baby. Yeah, that's the my race. baby. That's what happened. You can't chug beer. That's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, so we're ready to move on? I am. We're only about a third of the way through. We got wow. a lot more coming here. Bring it on. And we got some pulled pork we got to try. That's that cool. looks amazing. And I think I'll put it on a little white bread for you. What do you think? Yes. All right, a little bit. Give that, it a try. You know, you know, I love. I'm not a big fan of white bread, except when it comes time to oh, barbecue. barbecue. Right? It's just something about the white bread and barbecue. Kind of helps like just, modify it a yeah, little bit, a little just, temper I don't know, it. Just, it's amazing. Thank you. Except I'm not, no you. sauce on here yet. I'll do that the next next. Uh, yeah, I'm eyeing those I'm sauces. I'm good right now. Yeah, me too. We'll start it off without the sauce to I begin. Just wanna, I want to taste the meat in all of its glory. I agree. It looks great. Taste the meat in all its glory. All its glory. I'm staying away from that. <laughs> <laughs> You better. <laughs> All set, baby. Here we go. Cheers. All right, pull pork. Mmm. That is dynamite. I agree. That right there honestly gets like five turn it up world bobbleheads. Oh, I agree. That it's, yeah, no, it's great. It's just so juicy and tender. Amazing flavor. It smell, you know, that it really kind of tastes the barbecue in there and that like fattiness. Oh, yeah. Is oh, excellent. Yeah. It's very good. I'm loving like the little red, red peppers or what's yeah. in that. The little bits of flavoring that kind of adds like so a good. sweet and tangy. Mm hmm. You still have that smokiness in there, but you do get the sweet and tangy and it really melts in your mouth. Like sometimes, and this is a true statement, we have come across a lot of pulled porks that are just really dry. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? In our, in our lifetimes. But, I find this to be really juicy, nice and fatty, and full of flavor. Yeah, this, you know, they are three out of three right here. Mm. Boy, it's good. 
three out of three. Mm. Somebody needs to tell that to the slot machines. That's a good point. Me between the lines. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me first say that I am feeling very happy right about now. Everything yes. has been dynamite. Life is good. Life is good. Yes. And I'm excited about these next two here. Now, we going for the sauces, the uh, links? Uh, we're gonna go for the links, yes. yeah. Now, there's one in particular I am super stoked about because we haven't found that here in uh, yeah. Las Vegas yet. Which one is that? Yeah, a little, a little cheddar with uh, some pepper in there as well. It's not jalapeno, no, right? it's hash pepper. Hash pepper, yeah. Hash pepper with jalapeno. I mean, sorry, hash pepper with cheddar. cheddar. So I'm like, yeah, that looks amazing, dude. Yeah, why don't you try it? Do you see that melted oh, cheddar? Oh, that, that melted piece? cheddar. In oh, there. that melted cheddar. Hold on, y'all. Hold good. on, wait a second. Get a close up. Close up. <laughs> oh, that is dynamite. That is awesome. Ready? I want to feed you. Oh, that whole thing. I take a bite right out of that one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Should I give it a try? Mm-hmm. You can't feel like me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That mm. is amazing. Spice. Nice, yeah. The That's spice good. from the hash pepper. Mm. The cheddar. Mm. And it's subtle. It is it's subtle. It's like subtle. Yeah. It's not like overpowering, but it has that nice crunch on the skin. Mm. I like it. Like the uh, sausage, the cast. Woo! So good. Yeah, this tree kind of crunched through the skin, right? And mm. um, and that nice little spiciness from the pepper with the cheese. Everything blends really nicely together. It's juicy. It's a nice. That's a nice link. I'm not sure the other link can really compete. It's just kind of doesn't maybe, have the pepper, maybe, doesn't have the cheese. Maybe we should have done that one I know. last. And this one over there. All right. Well, well, can't really start can't over. Can't really start over. All right. Let's change the on order. On to the next. Exactly. Here, we'll give it a shot. Ready, baby? Let's do it. Uh. <laughs> you just grab it. Just grab it. Mm. I just grab it my, uh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Mmm. 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 Wow. Well, I think we got it backwards. It can compete. It's actually dynamite. Oh, yeah. It's very different. But mm. at the same time, really flavorful. Mm. You could taste like the fats. Just yeah, like it's just so juicy. Mm. Great flavor. Both are excellent. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure which one I like better. I love the spiciness and the cheesiness of the first one. But then but like that the one seasoning, is just perfect. That seasoning is just like, yeah. it's, it's clean. That's it's good. very clean, lots of flavor, lots of herbs kind of flavor. I don't I tell know. You, they're uh, hitting it out of the park today. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's because it's reminding us a lot of Central Texas barbecue. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it's, it's been really, really good. That's good stuff. <sighs> Woo. All right, we're halfway we there. We are next one. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, correction. It does feel like the Central Texas barbecue style, although some of the, the different items on the menu come from different areas. Yeah, different influences, might be Carolina, things like that, but boy, this is great. Yeah. You know, we love barbecue, we love Central Texas barbecue, and, and this all, is bringing back some nice memories. Absolutely, yeah. and I'm ready for this. Look at this, you ready for this? This yeah. is the brisket, you ready? This is what brisket should do. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> a little jiggly. <laughs> a little jiggly. A little jiggly. A little jiggly. It's like the motto here. Hashtag jiggly meats. Yes, yeah. enjoy your jiggly meat. I do now like that. that is the jam, Dave. So I'm going to slap that yeah, right over we, to you. And we specifically asked for the uh, fatty brisket, basically from the point. So if you like the fatty brisket, make sure you ask for it. Yeah. Now, if you're, if you're going to get more than, say, like a, a pound of it, I would definitely mix it. I would get like more fatty, a little bit of uh, right in the middle lean, because too much fatty can almost be overwhelming. But oh, if you yeah. mix them kind of together, remember how they we kind of did that at uh, Franklin? Yeah, I know at Franklin, they actually tried to give you a blend of it too, because I think a lot of so many people wanted the fatty. Yeah. Right? So they would almost 
Yeah. Well, you want to kind of mix it, yes. too. But, uh, now, I might slap this first and take just a bite out of it okay. without the bread. That sounds good. Because look at that. Oh, yeah, it's like peeling right jiggly. off. It's like peeling right off jiggly, there. Jiggly, 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 jiggly. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, here we go. The bark looks really nice, too. Oh, my God. Mm. That's it. That's it. I mean, it just breaks. Look at that. Right. That is slow. Mm. Low and slow. Low, low and slow. slow. Yeah. And the color. That transitional color. Yeah. That is amazing. Kind of peel that right out. We've had quite a bit of brisket here in Vegas, quite frankly, that was dry. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is not that at no. all. It's good. It's juicy. Yeah. You're right. The bark has so much kind of nice salty flavor. Yeah. I would say they put just the right amount. You know, they probably yeah. douse it with salt and pepper. It just it's good. tastes amazing. You really taste that. And I love mm. the fattiness of it. Mmm. Whoo! All right, so let me ask you, what do you think of this? How many, how many turn up world bobbleheads would you give this? Okay. Well, and we're kind of about tough on the brisket we here. We are. Right, and I'd say for Vegas, this is absolutely five out of five brisket. Woo! This is uh, by far the best brisket we've had in Vegas. In Vegas, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, really good. Dynamite. Yes, excellent. So highly recommend it. Oh man. Help me up, bring it up. Yeah, I know, man. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little stuffed here. A little I stuff. am too, but there's always room for mac and cheese. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of sides coming our way. Mac and cheese. Yeah, let's try the mac and cheese. Look at that breadcrumb on top, Yeah, dude. it looks good. Woo, woo. Go ahead and there grab you a little bit of that mac and there. cheese. Mm, nice and creamy. That is creamy. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, try some of the meats. They look interesting. They smell nice. It's supposed to be kind of a uh, Texas beans. Texas oh, like barbecue beans, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Texas barbecue baked beans. Yeah. Watch your pants. <laughs> yeah, right. Good idea. <laughs> Here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mmm. Mm. The bacon fat now. Yeah. So good. Oh my gosh. Incredible flavor. Great flavor. Yeah. What do you think, Ben? I think. <laughs> I'll try the slaw. You try some slaw? I'll try the slaw. Yes! Up next is slaw. <laughs> Bring on the slaw. Bring it on. Oh, wow. There we go. So much flavor in that. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Woo. One more side, bring it on. One more side, bring it on. A little corn? A little bit of corn here. Yeah, this was a... It's like a corn... I figured out exactly what that bread. was. It's like cornbread and corn. Yeah, it's corn. like a cornbread all mixed together. This, and this is, their, this is their recipe. This is like home... Yeah, this is like a uh, family recipe, I Family think. recipe. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, this might be like mama's or something. I'm, I'm ready. Sure. Yeah. I'm ready to be a part of the family. Here we go. Wait, you ready? Ooh, yeah. Yum, yum, give me some. Mm. Ooh. Wow. And you know what it reminds, reminds me of? Like a pot left. Yeah. Like you got some leftover corn. Throw it all in. Got some leftover cornbread. Add a little flavors. You put it all together. Yeah. And make it up. It's like a cornbread and, and corn bits uh, mush. Smorgasbord. Put it all together. But it tastes good though. It's corny. corny. All kinds of corny. They're very corny. <laughs> nice little crushed corn in the cornbread. It's interesting. That is dynamite. Yeah, but it's good. So everything, boy. So wait, 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 wait. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, that was filling, and I have to say. Oh yeah, what's that? I am physically stuffed. Yeah, I am so stuffed. I got like sweats coming out. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Well, what do you think?
So obviously as we're eating throughout this entire process, we really enjoyed it. So without question, this is definitely hands down a, one of the best barbecue spots we've been to. Oh, absolutely. In, in Vegas. Just a great spot. Definitely the most underrated barbecue spot in Vegas and perhaps the best in all of Vegas. Oh, it yeah. is excellent. Highly recommend it. For sure. The staff, the energy, it's yeah. everything. And the fact that they have live music. That's kind of like a kicker for me. Yeah. You know that. This is definitely a great spot. Yes. Take a second if you haven't done so. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get up. Every time you post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, Full Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in, in Las Vegas. Vegas. And maybe at Soul Bellies. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>